welcome the highest court of india has delivered a historic verdict today constitutionally upholding the decision of the parliament to abrogating article 370 this is a moment that every indian shall remember the integration of india ladies and gentlemen tonight from kashmir to kanyakumari has been affirmed by the supreme court of india and with that ladies and gentlemen every tukde tukde gang member every tukde tukde gang member who has tried to fear monger has faced a complete bloody nose because ladies and gentlemen the integration of india which has somehow been traded by the thriving of some sort of azadi business the focus the need to focus on nationalism which has relentlessly and constantly been qualified ladies and gentlemen repeatedly the need to focus on nationalism has been qualified by a group of people who have their own interests to look at the attempt to confuse the people of india about the real reasons why 370 and 35a were removed had to be removed all of these questions come to naught on this monday evening it is clear to everyone that the decision of the government of india was legal was correct but most importantly that that was a decision which was taken purely and only in national interest ladies and gentlemen national interest means that there are moments when you do not need to qualify things with the riders of pressure groups all of this comes to an end why because the supreme court of india affirming the decision of the parliament of august 5th 2019 to simply slice at the root any differential treatment of jammu and kashmir and bring to the same plane as every other state of india is only testament of the fact that the India of today has moved beyond pressure tactics and local constituencies to a situation where we have an outright belief that politics shall not be rooted in anything but the outright belief in nation first. So today, it's a sad day for the Mehbooba Muftis and the Omar Abdullahs who have been long thriving on the business of quote-unquote Azadi, the stone pelters, whose shutters have been down since the abrogation of 370 and the blood money which has been flowing and flowing and flowing from the terror havens of Pakistan. I asked today, what is your eventual problem with the overhaul and cleansing of the systematic hold that the overground and underground workers have had over Kashmir? Is the problem that a certain constituency that has long been seen as a dominant constituency of Kashmir, that is now seeing development as an answer to the exploitation of the lack of it on the ground. What is the problem? Is the problem that Kashmiris have only been seen for a very long time as a byproduct of being an affirmative operators of varying degrees of support to the Muftis and Abdullahs, ladies and gentlemen, as opposed to being vociferous? opposers of that same policy on the ground we know kashmir has changed we know today tourism is at a high we know investment is at an high we know the people of kashmir have been integrated we know the infiltration has come down we know the terror incidents have come down and ladies and gentlemen as i see it the naya kashmir model has won and the national security position or the lack of it has flopped vis-a-vis -vis the Indy Alliance. How much of it will play vis-a-vis -vis the 2024 elections is my question tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Supreme Court of India has reaffirmed the position on 370's abrogation. Big debate tonight.